Hey everybody, I'm Jason the Fish, and welcome back to another fishing video. Apologies for the lack of videos lately, it's been tough fishing around the Brisbane area. I've been having donut session after donut session, so I treated myself to a new lure to hopefully end this. The lure of choice is the newly released Daiwa Dub Clutch 115 in tilapia pattern. It's the biggest size of the double clutch range, so fingers crossed a good fish will take it. Later in the video, we will have a chat about the Daiwa dub clutch range, so stay tuned. Anyways, this afternoon, we are flicking the mouth of the Pine River down at Brighton, north of Brisbane. The tide is currently going out, so let's get started and start flicking. Oh yes, yes, fish, what we got, oh, oh flatty, good flatty, yes, whoa, nice flatty, he just grabbed it, that's the big Daiwa double clutch, uh, the 115, I was not expecting that. But yeah, let's measure him and hopefully he's big enough for dinner tonight. Alright, let's do it. Alright everyone, that's the first flatty on the Daiwa Double Clutch 115 right there. So that's the biggest version now. Um, and this pattern is the tilapia. So it's nice in green with little striped patterns on it and it's got a little red head as well I'll give you a closer look but I got my ruler here so there we are Oops. let's put them on the ruler he's a little bit bigger than 40 make sure he doesn't spike me All right, there we go, he is 42. So nice and legal, a nice pan size, flatty. So great fillets. All right, everyone, so I'd like to show you the different sizes of the Daiwa double clutches. All great in different situations. So on the top is the 115, the middle is the 95, and the bottom is the 75. I am missing the 60, but I do believe the 60 is just way too small. So the 75 here is the Ghost AU pattern, and 
it is perfect for brim and slightly shallower um, water and th the 75 has two trebles one two on the other hand the 95 has three trebles this um, pattern is the um, ghost perch so I don't know why I forgot but that's one of my favorite um, patterns so that's like for slightly deeper it's a good all-rounder um, and the top is the 115 and this is the tilapia pattern uh, which I just caught that flathead on so it's a nice green color so slightly like the motorol color of Zeman that's why I got it and the striped the striped um, pattern just like the ghost perch so two of uh, my favorite patterns the motor oil motor oil and the ghost perch and this one also has a red right red face so um yeah on the other hand the 115 only has two trebles so that's a little bit of a um, downgrade from the 95 um, with all Daiwa double clutches they come with a bigger bib so they're suited for deeper water so it's a nice deep diving action a nice um, wobble movement so the technique is uh, twitch twitch and pause and you just vary um, the twitches and the pause lengths um, but all three all Daiwa double clutches will pick up fish like your flatheads, your brims, and even your pelagics, so your trevallies and um, even your mackerel and all that, which I've caught previously. But yeah, that's all um, three of the four different Daiwa double clutch sizes, and I would definitely recommend uh, giving them a go. So the 115 at the top, the, the newest arrival are uh, the 95 with three trebles and the 75 um, at the bottom for your, like your brim species but yeah great lures give them a go so the technique that I'm using today is the twitch twitch and pause for the Daiwa dub clutch 115 so it's quite windy today but I positioned myself so I'm casting with the wind so I get extra uh, casting distance so first off you want to cast as far as you can nice long cast and once that's landed just some twitch twitch and pauses so twitch twitch and pause twitch twitch and pause and one the slack twitch twitch and pause and twitch twitch and pause so you can vary your pause length so long pauses and short pauses and even single hops single twitches but keep varying your technique different twitches and pause lengths and the fish should come There we go, keep flicking. Oh yes! Oh no! It fell 
followed it right in, but I lost it. Damn. All right, everyone, it's time to go. So one last cast. So it was a good little session testing the new Daiwa double clutch 115. So this is my first session with it and it we caught a legal flatty. So first impressions, it's a good lure. But I'd like to try it out in at some different locations um, and scenarios. So um, stay tuned for more videos uh, with the Daiwa Dub Clutch 115. So what we'll do, we'll do our last cast. Maybe we'll even get the fish. Cast as far as you can. One in the slack. And twitch, twitch and pause all the way back. But it's a nice, nice afternoon. A bit windy. Um, but it was good that the, we're casting with the wind. So we get that extra little bit of casting distance. A few boats on the water, but not as packed as the weekends. So it's a Friday afternoon. That's why there's not many boats out. But yeah, that's it. Alright everyone, thanks for coming along, testing out the new Daiwa Dub Clutch 115. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope you give the Daiwa Dub Clutch lures a go. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe for future videos, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.